It looks really good. Mine is a little crazy. There's like a mayhem to it. Okay. So I didn't use any dressing. You're a lie. Because I got some of this like pasta situation. The wettest food I've ever seen in my life, dude. If you didn't put something on this, <laughs> why is it so moisturized? Literally when she opened the box, it was moist from the top. Like look at it's like wet. Like, it's a bad angle here, but, like, when she first opened it, it was yeah. moist. You see the moisture? Or maybe that's just, like, the fabric or the, the texture on top of the lid. Okay. But that, it's it's obviously so coated with something. Dressing. You're a lie. Because I got some of this, like, pasta. I don't even understand why she even cares. Like, I've seen, I've literally seen her body slam two, three boxes of pizza at a time. So, like, this being coated in salad dressing is, like, the least of your concerns, if I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know. I don't even understand why Amber even has a problem displaying food like this. Like, I'm glad that you're eating well here, but to be honest, it's usually one or the other. Amber usually eats very terrible, disgusting foods, and then, on the other hand, she eats very, very healthy foods. Why can't she just find, like, a good median value? Like, why can't she just meet in the middle somewhere and just partake in what most people are eating in general, you would lose weight through that instead of com instead of going like, oh, yeah, I didn't put any salad dressing on this as if that matters in any way, dude. It really doesn't. Situation. There's a ton of spinach on the bottom of this, I promise. Broccoli, feta, turkey, chickpeas, egg, this carrots. This literally doesn't even matter. Like, I, I, I honestly have, I have zero care that Amber is eating all this good, nutritious food, when in reality, like, I know you're about to body slam three, four, five, six thousand calories for the rest of the day. So this is, like, literally a drop in the bucket compared to all the thousands of calories that you literally waste throughout the day, and not even to mention the sodas. I've literally seen this girl order sodas from, from delivery services when you could easily just, oh, because of the ice or something like that, when the soda would be, like, I don't even know. I think it was like $8 for a soda, which is crazy. I think you could buy like a two liter for like probably three bucks. And, um, artichoke. Okay, see. Dude, that shit is moist as fuck. What is, what, what is this? I'm looking at the, look at his orange. What is that? What do you mean you didn't put salad dressing on it? There's salad dressing there. It's obvious. <laughs> Come on. There is a ton of spinach on the bottom. It's so wet. Dude, it come on, dude. Yummy pasta. So I'm gonna mix come it. on, bro. Amber, what if this is not salad dressing? What is this? Would you spit in it right before you cooked it? Right before you got this shit? Put it up and then I'll show you guys. Ta da. Why is it okay. wet? So I'm gonna take my first bite. Okay. Yum. Like, honestly, I don't, I, I really, I really don't care that Amber eats this particular type of food with salad dressing. It, it, it really doesn't matter in the spectrum of all the foods that she eats in general. So, I mean, this is like light on the bar when it comes to the amount of calories that she she eats in a day. That you eat more off camera. Facts. I'm not really sure what that's like regarding. Like, it's Amber. If you if you put yourself on camera eating, damn dude, whew, looking real big in this one. If you put yourself on camera and you're showing me that you're eating a salad, okay, like you just did right there, and then you're going, this is all I ate. Like this is all realistically all I ate today. And you're 560 to 570 pounds. You know that doesn't make sense, right? You know that literally cannot make sense. How the hell are you somebody within the 500s and eating salads? One salad every single day. You're lying. Stop being a lying-er, okay? Just accept the truth. You're body slamming food. It'd be much better if you just showed us that you're body slamming the food like you used to do. I mean, I literally remember seeing this girl eating... Double, double chocolate chip Oreos, dude. Boxes of pizza. Like, that's way better than just saying, oh, no, this is all I'm eating for today. When in reality, you're obviously not doing that. Look how big you are. You can't lie to me, dude. That's that's insane. This this outfit also ain't, ain't, ain't really doing it, dude. Like an inflated lemon or something like that. Like if you're talking about if I'm filming myself eating a salad, do I eat more right after that? No. I that, Okay, that's... Maybe not just the salads. I mean, our girl, real deal, just be lying, dude. Like, I, I don't understand why you lie so much, Amber. It's not that big of a deal, dude. If you eat more than what you do, I mean, it's not good, but we all know the truth. You lying is doing nothing. All it's doing is just increasing your, decreasing your value when it comes to telling the truth because it's obvious that you're eating more. I always show you guys, like, what I'm eating right then and there as my meal. Next thing is a little more serious topic. I've got a lot of questions of why do you eat on camera? Why do you keep eating on camera? Does it trigger you? Etc. Etc. 
this is just like one fourth of the meals that she eats in a day is like just the meals that you show on screen. Like she's eating so much food on screen, but then like I 100% know when this camera's off, she's body slamming snacks or whatever the fuck else after that. And don't get me wrong, it's fine if you want to have like a snack right after the food or you want to indulge in some chips or something like that. Like that's okay. The only issue I find oftentimes is that as long as you're not doing it to the to the degree that's hurting you like it's a detriment if that makes any sense like it's okay to do it every once in a while but i know for amber like i've literally seen her go to the grocery store buy two three packets of those fun size bars of like um twix or milky ways and things like that and i saw her literally body in that like just destroying it all in one sitting and i believe like each one of those has got to be a hundred calories on least, right? The funds, you don't talk about the little fun size ones that you just pop in your mouth. You just be swallowing them shits down. A whole pack of those, probably at least six of those, six to eight. And then she'd body slam two of that. 1600 calories, 12 to 1600 calories. Easily, easily. I wouldn't even be doubted. I wouldn't even doubt if Amber came out and she said in a day, realistically, she eats over 5,000 calories. I wouldn't even be surprised. You know how easy it is to eat 5,000 calories? Dude, there's a burger called like it's called the the, the, the quadruple bypass this shit's 10,000 calories okay 10,000 calories for one burger super easy to eat don't act like it's not it is you can easily body slam a two three four thousand calories in a day and not even feel it now just for, just for some context by the way if she is eating like usually women I'm going to be sexist here for a second in saying that women don't usually, women need to eat usually less than men. I know it's sexist, but usually that's because women are smaller. They have less muscle mass. They have less bones and such and so not less bones, but less, you know, bigness of the bones, right? Women usually need to eat about 2000 calories, depending on how tall you are. I've met some women that can only eat 1200 calories a day and that's quite sad for them. Right. But it is what it is. Amber being, I believe, 5'4", and being as big as she is, she should realistically be eating around probably 2,000, 2,500 realistically. But I would not be surprised if our girl was eating plus 5,000 calories every single day. And it wouldn't be difficult. Like the amount of times, right? I've been over a friend's house and he goes, let's go get some food. Let's get some Chinese food. Let's go get this. And I see this dude drinking orange juice, right? And I have a very big problem with orange juice, right? People literally try to explain why they drink orange juice with this like, oh, it's got vitamin D or whatever the fuck is in there. Uh, take a multivitamin. What is that? Like five calories or something like that? If you really, if you real deal care about the vitamin C, you're going to get a higher concentration instead of drinking like, dude, I remember I did the math with this dude one time and he drank like three cups of orange juice in like a big cup. You know what I'm talking about? Like a big fucking glass. And I was like, bro, do you know how many calories you just drank? And he was like, what do you mean? You just drank probably 900 calories. No joke. Like each cup was like 300. Not even joking with you because it was like the fucking um, whatever, like the sun kissed or something. I don't know. But he was drinking that shit religiously and he was having Chinese food on the side of it. And each plate of that Chinese food had to have been at least 1500 calories, bro. It's too easy to eat. And you know, he went for seconds. He went for seconds. So and it's it's real easy. To take out this fast food, eat the greasy, dis delectable foods, and have that just be your entire day's worth of food. You just body slam five, six, seven, eight thousand calories. I would not be surprised if Amber was eating that much or more. People think it would. <laughs> it does the opposite, actually. That's not real. That somebody added that. That somebody added that sound in. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. She didn't fart like that on camera, bro. I refuse to believe that. But I'm gonna go back so I can hear one more time. It does the opposite, actually. <laughs> Looks like she's drowning real? the whole thing in dressing as well. I actually did not. Looks like she's drowning the whole thing in salad in the dressing, dude. It did it, bro. It looked pretty fucking coated, man. What time are we at right now? With this part right here. Dude, that's fucking moist. Look how moist it is, dude. This thing right here is your girlfriend right off right off her period, man. Okay? And th this this is moisturized, okay? This is wetter than an African child during typhoon season. This thing is coated in in some type of lu some type of luxury lubricant, 100%. It does the opposite, actually. <laughs> Looks like she's drowned the whole thing in dressing as well. I actually did not put any dressing, and I did say that in the um. Yeah, video. but you can say a lot of things, Amber. Let's just be honest. Like you can say a lot of things, but that really don't translate to reality. Because if I already had like a pasta salad type thing, 
I knew that was going to give it a lot of flavor, and I didn't want to add, like, those extra calories in. How much more extra calories would the dressing really do? I mean, a girl really trying to mid-max on things that she doesn't need to. So this is actually where I write down every single thing I eat. It's, uh, it's cool. It's a novelty idea. Wow, she has two of them, too. Where'd you buy it? Dude, this is, looks like some luxury one, too, at that. She got, like, a real high-quality notebook. My handy-dandy notebook! And it's fine if that's what you want to do, like... If you like novelty items, I know my handwriting is literally trash, so I would not be able to actually write down things in like, I would write them down and be like, this looks good. And then I'd come back like a week later and I'd go, the fuck did I write? What is that? What what did I say here? Damn, that shit doesn't even look like English because my handwriting is so bad. I feel like my, my spirit animal will be like Michael J. Fox when I write, dude. But uh, it's cool. Most people nowadays just use your phone or I guess you could just have a notepad on any device nowadays. That's usually what I do for my shit. Like if I ate a Tic Tac, I Let's write see. it in this. Let's see. And today is actually the 29th day of doing this in a row. Let's what I've been it. doing is actually counting calories. Is each page like four pages? And I've been doing them whether I'm on track or off of track because yeah. I am curious for my body, like how many calories I need to gain weight, maintain, and lose weight. Because usually you can do that with – usually what you actually have to do if you want to determine how many calories you need in a day – if you don't what I eat in a day is realistically like every day, just scale yourself, get yourself on the scale, see what you ate that day. And then if you gain weight, lower that. And if you gain weight the next day, lower that again. And it's eventually you're going to hit a plateau. If you keep doing that over and over and over again, also have a consistent diet. Don't fucking sit there and just be body slamming different types of food every single day. At least have an understanding of what the foods are and what they're doing to you. And then eventually once you hit a plateau, then you lower it. You lower the calories. And then eventually, once you hit that plateau, you lower the calories a little bit more. A little bit more. Keep in mind, I keep saying that. Little by little. Okay? Small increments. Don't drastically. If you if you see that your resting calorie count would be like 1,300, like that's what you need in order to survive, right? No. 3,500. Do not lower it down to 1,500. That is crazy. Nobody should be doing that. Everyone is different when What the fuck is that? On... Is this a cookie? Can somebody let me know? Is this a cookie? She's is this a cookie with whatever the fuck this thing is? In the comments or messaging me. They say, why do you moan when you eat? True. Mm-mm-mm. True. <laughs> I know why, Amber. I think she legitimately finds a lot of pleasure in eating. I mean, it's obvious. When somebody is this size, they obviously have like a real addiction problem when it comes to the foods that they eat. So naturally, quite naturally, our girl is going to have these types of like, mmm, ah, ooh, mmm, good types of good moaning sensations that you would ordinarily only hear in certain other lights, you know, other time frames, which are completely appropriate in an inappropriate, inappropriate time frame, right? But for Amber... She just kind of does these noises default in herself. I don't know, man. Um, I also think she's doing it for the views. I think that people are watching her to beat off. I think there are probably a good amount of people that are hate watching her as well. That literally see her making these noises and they go, this fuck, this is fucking gross. And it's like kind of like an appeal to it. Almost kind of like when you watch a car accident IRL. Like you've seen a car explode and people walking out of it on fire, you know. And you're just going... Yeah, this is terrible, but you can't look away. You know, kind of like when you watch a video online and you see like a lion eating a gazelle and you're like, whoa, that's fucking crazy, but you can't look away. Like the other night, I was on Reddit and I saw a giraffe that was chilling. He was eating, he was just drinking out of a water hole and this bitch ass elephant just walked up to him and they just, I guess they had a conversation or they were talking hella shit to each other. And the elephant, keep in mind, the giraffe wasn't doing shit. He was just minding his own business on the other side of the water fountain and there's this this fucking big ass elephant came over and just pierced him with one of his tusks. And then the dude started running away with his guts behind him. And then I was like, damn, dude, I know that giraffes are not the coolest in terms of like, they're kind of assholes sometimes. But when I saw this elephant doing that shit, I was like, bro, that's fucked up. But then I kind of get it because that maybe was his op or something like that, right? That's usually what they say nowadays. Like, oh, yeah, that's my op. That's my op, right? Maybe that was his op. Maybe he, I said something to him on Facebook or something like that that was, like, really offensive or something like that. Like, Lion King Facebook or something. I don't know. Maybe there was a hit out on him. I don't know, bro. The point I'm making is that elephant was a bitch. And I, I, I'll i fully say that. I'll fully say that. Under duress of that elephant coming to me and also doing the same thing. Oh, daddy. Yo. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh. 
Ooh, daddy. It's, you know, I, I love that Amber. Oh, damn, bro. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I, I know that Amber. Oh, man. I know Amber is having sex, which is fine. She's an adult. She should have sex if that's what she wants to do. But the thought of it kind of makes me, it kind of makes me hurt a little bit internally, if that makes any sense. In more than just one way, like the brain and also the stomach area doesn't make me feel good, even thinking about something like that. But I'm happy that Amber, damn, dude, you really, you real deal out here talking about some daddy? What even is that? Like a magnetic hand strap? Oh, man. I look upon her and I'm like, ooh, okay. I'm sure somebody likes it. First of all. True. I do not do that in like real life. Ta-da. <laughs> okay. I am such a chef. It only took me four and a half minutes to make this masterpiece. I know processed food is not the healthiest for you, but Amy's is like healthier of the bunch. Sure. And plus I'd rather have this than like fried chicken. Like this makes me feel better. What the fuck are those alternatives? This or fried chicken? Dude, why is this why is it this or fried chicken? That's like going into a doctor's office and the doctor goes, listen, um, we can either amputate your arm or we could just give you a cream and then that would like the infection will just go away in like five days. Uh, the fuck? I think I want to keep my fucking arm. Why is it so drastic like this? Like I need to have this or fried chicken. Dude, those those two those two things are on the opposite sides of the spectrum. So I'm guessing this is like some kind of TV dinner. This is probably like whatever. I don't know what this is. But I want to point it out, okay? It is completely fine if you want to eat processed foods. That's completely fine. It doesn't do a whole lot of big differences to you. Like, processed foods are bad for you um, once you get to the end game. Like, don't get me wrong. If you can avoid them, avoid them. But don't think that you're a bad person or that you're hurting yourself tremendously because you're eating them. It doesn't usually work like that. Um, once you get to the end game, though, once you get to, like, that point where you've lost all that weight, you're now at the point where you're building a lot of muscle. It might be beneficial to stay away from them completely and focus in on, like, really, really whole foods. That's probably a lot better for you. But for somebody like Amber, dude, she doesn't really – it doesn't really matter. Like, she can real deal just do whatever the fuck she wants when it comes to eating, if I'm being honest. Like, just like all, it is, all it comes down to is lowering calories. Fast food or something. <laughs> yes. This is from – Ella Rose Abel, you're just jealous because she can actually see her jawline. Damn. Okay, I guess that was a comment. Yeah, uh, that's a fact. I, I, you know what? I have no idea what Amber would look like without this. This, like, jowl thing that she has right now, dude. I, I do feel like, damn, dude, she real deal inflated. That's crazy to me. When I see fat people that are, like, very, very big and they don't have jawlines at all. Some people just don't have jawlines in general, which is very saddening. But some guys can do a little something extra, like grow out a beard if they're if they're not follically challenged. They might be able to grow out a beard and cover it up a little bit. But for somebody like Amber, it would just be something as simple like losing weight. Now, granted, she does have a lot of extra skin on her. So, she would carry a lot of that extra skin just sagging off. But... You can always get surgery. I know that's not as simple as a lot of people can say it is. Like, you can just get surgery. It's not as simple as that. But it'd be a lot better than carrying around the weight. You know, for somebody like Amber who spends $3,000 a month on fast food, I mean, save up for like four of those months. Save up for like four of those months. You're good. You can get a surgery to reduce that, that skin to tissue. To another person, Des B, which is actually really funny that this one popped up because a lot of people think Des B is me. So... I have actually thought about blocking Despy okay. because it's not me and it seems to be causing a lot of toxicity. So we are on our way. Don't address the actual thing about the jawline. I would love to know what she has to say about the jawline. Let's get dinner and right. I'll show you what I'm eating. It's this place called Sunny's. Oh my God, it's so good. Why does Amber always put herself in a situation where she has to eat or go out to eat? Like she has a real deal addiction. I feel like people around here need to... Just get away from that particular type of person. This person is perpetually never doing anything at all. I just saw a video of her today literally admitting that she's been gaining weight on her weight loss journey again. So, I mean, at this point, Amber just needs to be alone and stop it having people around her enabling her inadvertently. Like, being around Amber in general is probably going to enable her. That's what she said. <laughs> This is my tiny little cheat meal, and tiny little when I do this, meal. I usually only have just this one meal, and if I feel super hungry later, then I'll have a small meal that's, like, really healthy, like... Amber real deal, oh man, she real deal does lie like crazy, dude. 
that's it's like nobody's believing you when you say I'm only going to have one small meal that's very healthy. What is a healthy small meal for you, Amber? They, like, let's be honest here for a second. You know, we know you're lying. There's no way this is you're telling the truth. I can't believe this shit. It's too often you have these this many mistakes. Veggies or fruit and things like that. Okay. You're a lot. I wouldn't have any problem if Amber just had a whole mukbang of her eating like grapes. Or like uh, if she ate a watermelon, dude. A watermelon will put you on your back. Have you ever eaten a whole watermelon? I have. Bro, I can body wash an entire watermelon in a sitting. Give me 30 minutes. Give me a fork and a knife because I like to cut them up. I'm bougie like that. So I'll separate them out in like two, three plates. And I'll body slam a watermelon, dude. I know a watermelon is a lot of calories. But think about this, right? It's a big ass portion of food. Your body in that shit and you're peeing like nine times that day. Because watermelon consists of like, I don't know, 80% water or something like that. I don't even know what else is in the watermelon, honestly. What the fuck is that shit? I don't know. The tree nectar. Whatever that is. It's delicious. It's beautiful. But I would have no problem if Amber just decided one day to go, I'm going to do a mukbang. And it's going to be all grapes. I'm going to eat these grapes, that grapes, and all these other grapes because they're so good in my mouth. Instead, Amber's going out to eat. And it's too often for her to go out to eat. And now it's gotten even worse because of Uber Eats existing. <sighs> man, it's just tough, man. I really feel like for somebody like Amber, she should just throw away her phone because she has too much. I don't think she can handle social media. Um, I know that's where she makes her money. Maybe she can do, she needs somebody to take care of her, I feel like. If she's serious, she's going to have to have somebody take care of her. That you stay obese just for money and True. views. True. No. True, dude. Oh my God, bro. Whenever she, because she said this before, where she said like, I can either choose being healthy or being obese and making money. That is 100% the saddest decisions you can ever do. That's like being a gay man. And not even, no, no, no. That's like being a straight dude and you're at the porn, you're at the porn place, right? The, the casting couch. And they're like, listen, dude, you know, you had this scene today with Jessica and, you know, you and Jessica have great chemistry. We were going to do like, uh, we, you know, you were going to be busting on her face this morning or whatever. Listen, Jacob is here and I know you're not gay, but listen to this, right? Jacob and you will pay you five times more if you suck him off right now. If you suck him off right now on camera I will pay you five times more right now. If you were that dude, you go, yeah, I'm sucking dick. I'm sucking dick right now because the money is good. I'm going to suck dick for the right amount of money. Naturally, most people will. You would suck dick for the right money. Okay? So it's like that. Like you're heterosexual, but you can't stop yourself from being gay because you're making so much money from being gay. But you're not actually gay. You're just doing it for the money. In the same way that Amber... I don't think she actually wants to be unhealthy, but it's like, well, maybe she does. I don't. I think she doesn't want to be unhealthy, but she has like this like uh, perpetual loop of just never doing anything about it. But I think for somebody like Amber, she is being 100% like people are grooming her, or whatever the word you want to use is, enabling her to continuously be fat because she sees no reason not to be not fat since she's making money from it from like exorbitant amounts of money actually right she's dude if you're spending three unless she's going into debt are you going into debt amber are you going into debt ordering three thousand dollars worth of food a month i don't even dude if you look at your bank receipts okay and you look at i if you look at the receipts and you see that you've ordered three thousand dollars that month do you not like put your head in your hands and go oh my god i can't believe i just did that i can't believe i just wasted three thousand dollars i could have went to so many different things i could have bought like a new i could have put a down payment on a car i could have done this i could have bought a new phone i could have bought two new phones probably actually two like flagship phones i could have bought like six playstation fives i just it's like what are you doing like how do you not look at that and go like Oh, I really messed up this month. I can't believe I wasted all that money. How do you not do that? Like, like, I would feel so bad if I looked at my bank statements and I saw all that money leaving my account because of food. You're a lot that you stay obese just for money and views. No, because I have always felt, and a lot of people also say this, that if I lost weight, I would get more views, which would make more money. I actually so think she would if she did lose weight and she did something else because there's plenty of things that she can do you know being a thinner lady dude she would be on that fitness journey for like the entire lifespan of her fucking dude like i don't know like two three years at least being on like a weight loss journey dude i mean she's already been on a weight loss journey for 15 years i mean why was that what's an extra two or three years on top of that probably nothing at all right so i'm sure that she would lose the hate watchers because she's promoting good behaviors now and people don't like watching good behaviors obviously but 
I think very, 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 very organically, she has like a good viewer base where they do actually want to see her succeed and they keep coming back and they're constantly being disappointed, almost kind of like an abusive relationship where I tell you that I love you and I care about you, but we don't ever talk about really what matters. And even though that one time I did lick your toes, I'm never going to do it again because I know you want it. And I'm going to punish you because you did that one thing that one time I didn't like. So I know you keep asking me to lick your toes, but I'm not going to lick your toes. It's kind of like that, right? like that because I'd become an inspiration either way. I, <laughs> I also don't think like Amber doesn't know what she's talking about because she's never actually executed I mean she's lost a lot of weight bro she's probably lost more weight than most people in in like in general that have ever existed because think about this right how many people do you know that weigh like 570 lose 70 pounds regain 70 pounds lose gain lose gain lose gain think about all the loss that she's lost right all those pounds that she's lost she's got to bro that's got to be at least five that's got to be so much i don't even want to begin to know how many how many weights she's actually lost in comparison to like how much she actually is now it's it's probably got to be at least 20 of her not even joking like 20 of her now easily way <laughs> that is not why i am this big you misspelled heavier with healthier no i'm actually not heavier i'm not getting heavier i'm actually getting healthier true which i'm very oh, damn dude that's tough <laughs> i didn't even understand that at first but then i realized like heavier with healthier damn you're not getting healthier you're getting heavier damn that's <laughs> that is actually hilarious I'm very happy about so I've tried to explain this before. The reason why. Is this a second dish? Is this a second dish from earlier? Move bombs help me. Because they get views. And then you could take that money that you got from the views and you could translate that to Uber Eats. And then you can make Uber Eats go in your mouth. Maybe that. Probably that. Damn, the pauses are crazy, bro. I. Enjoy that carrot. An actual whole food. Can you believe it? Baby carrots too at that. I love baby carrots. I love the crunch of almost any food. I personally don't like, as of lately, to sit here and stuff my face with what I consider junk. <laughs> what do you mean you consider? What is it? First of all, what do you mean you consider it? If I, you consider it to be junk, it's probably like, realistically speaking, most people have a definition of junk, which is like chips, candies, cookies, things like that, that you can maybe eat every once in a while, but don't eat them too much because otherwise they're going to, you know, literally kill you. And then Amber's definition of junk is probably like way below that. Like scraping the walls off Chernobyl probably is junk for her, dude. And if I do... It's in a small portion compared to what I would do. Okay. Off a of camera. You know what I'm saying? I knew it, dude. I knew you were body slamming food off camera, dude. That's all you had to say. That's all you had to say. What you're trying to say is like you're trying to record yourself more often so that way you could be more responsible because you're placing yourself on camera. Therefore, it's going to be harder for you to excuse your bad behavior because people are not, oh, people are seeing it full force rather than you being off camera and body slamming potentially thousands of calories including like pizzas chicken fried chicken like you said earlier cakes and such so on and so forth so i understand that but that's honestly not helping you given the fact that you're still gaining weight you're still eating a ton of food and the mukbangs are really realistically doing nothing for you <laughs> okay all right and when i eat and a mukbang, I actually eat a lot slower than I normally would. Yeah, because people are watching you and you don't want to go full force on them. You don't want to really show sure up that power level. Hard to believe. <laughs> but it is true. Becky is sick. Becky has to lose weight. We already figured it out. Maybe with all this healthy cooking, you will drop some weight as well. Doubtful though. Those donuts while you were making eggs is a clear sign that your weight is here to stay. True, dude. Becky is sick and all this other stuff, man. If you are trying to lose weight and then you're body slamming donuts while you're cooking, I do that sometimes where I'm cooking and then I'll have like a slice of cheese that I got from the deli because I love cheese, dude. That fermented cow titty milk. Man, that shit real. I can't even believe that Jesus or whoever made that made something as delicious as that, man. I know you know what I'm talking about. 
milk cheese, dude. And I was thinking about it, right? Um, if you if you're somebody that goes in and you drink, for instance, like you know, you get milk from like almonds or nutmeg or whatever the fuck. You're drinking nut milk, right? That's nut milk, right? Or you can actually go and get the real like organic milk, which is from cows. And that's technically coming from meat. Therefore, you're gay either way. You're drinking either nut milk or you're drinking meat milk, right? Either way, you're gay. The point I'm making is um, everything that you consume is disgusting the more you think about it, right? Everything. It doesn't even matter. Sometimes I think about sometimes I think about sex, right? I'm thinking about like, dude, sometimes it's like so good, right? You're like, dude, this is going to be so great. But part of the great thing about sex is like the nastiness of it. Like, oh man, you're fucking gross. You're doing the grossest shit ever. But then you think about it when you're not really in that mood and you go, that was absolutely deplorable what we did. I cannot believe you let me pee in your mouth. I cannot believe you let me do that to you. And then you think about it again. You're like, you know what? But I love that shit, though. I loved it, right? It's kind of like that when you eat your food. You're like, dude, I can't believe how disgusting this food is. But man, does it taste good. Okay, so for everyone that's assuming things about this, I would just say assumptions and rumors are not always true. So if Becky like, is overweight and obese, she's 100% sick. Like this whole thing. You guys have no idea what you're talking about, okay. and I'm totally cool with that. Like, rumors will be rumors. Dude, if you talk, talk, what about the donuts? Can you talk about the donuts a little bit when you guys are talking about making food? Can we talk about the donuts? So when it says those donuts while you were making eggs is a clear sign that your weight is here to stay, I just want to let everyone know that I do live with other people, yeah. and we actually had quite a few people here the last... Did Amber we real deal just be making up excuses, dude? People came over, therefore I had to have the donuts. I had to have the donuts because otherwise, what am I going to do? You know, they, they wanted donuts. So obviously I'm going to buy them donuts and things and such and forth. That's obvious. Come on. Come on, Amber. Come on, dude. Who you, who, 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 you, who you really think you're talking to right now? You think I'm like a kid? You think I'm a child that I can't register when you body slam a couple? When you're eating your food and your good, nutritious meals and you're still 500 pounds? You think I don't know that you're body slamming food on the side? Come on, Amber. Let's be honest, dude. That's ridiculous. That's, <laughs> that's crazy, Amber. Live with other people. And we actually had quite a few people here the last week or so we've had eric has family visiting i've had friends visiting this sounds like a lot like hey were you cheating what no i didn't cheat on you i was just at so and so's house because he had a problem with his mom and his mom was going through like this depression thing and i thought i could help him out because he's my friend obviously and i didn't really like we were do i did suck up like i didn't mean to though because i tripped and when i felt like i was just kind of walking and he was sitting down on the couch. His meat was out. I didn't see it at first, though. It was crazy. He wasn't doing anything. He was just playing Call of Duty. And he doesn't wear pants when he plays. You know, like, you do that too, right? But anyway, he was sitting down on the couch. And I was yawning. I was yawning. And then as I yawned, I tripped over, like, a, a hairbrush. And then when I tripped over, I was like, Ugh. I swallowed him down for, like, 25 minutes. But it was because I fell down. It wasn't because I was cheating on you. I did. It was by accident. It, he wasn't even that hard. It wasn't even anything. He did finish, though. He did finish. But that's really, obviously, you, you know, there's something that you do. It's like that. Like, how far do you have to go to explain away something as obvious as you got donuts and you're obviously body slamming that shit? I don't give a fuck about Eric. I don't care about any of the people that you're talking about. You were swallowing the donuts. Just keep it a buck. week or so, we've had Eric has family visiting. I've had friends visiting. And I'm just gonna let you know right now, those donuts are not mine. True. You're a lie. That you use mental health to gain sympathy. True. No, I don't want sympathy. I don't want pity. You say that, but actions speak louder than words. Like you could say a whole bunch of things, but the reality of the situation is obviously not the fucking case. I mean, you literally have videos. Dude, her, her most recent videos right now come out and she goes, I just go through all these problems. And, you know, I've been going through a lot right now. I have depression. I have this. I have that. And I'm not saying that she isn't going through depression, but it's very, very easy to blame your problems on things like this every time when something bad goes down, right? And it's too easy for these people to do that shit, dude. Um, I, it's completely fine if you have mental illness. I mean, it's not fine in the sense of like, I don't think people should be mentally ill, obviously, but it does happen. And it's cool to have the ability to deal with those things. But if every single time 
something goes wrong, you consistently blame it on your mental problems and you do nothing to alleviate the mental problems, I don't want to be around you. That's a toxic trait. That's a toxic individual right there. Do not be around these people, okay? I get it. Some people cannot fix their problems. I don't want to be around that. I just don't. I just want people to be better. I want people to be happy. And don't get me wrong. If you're going through time frames in your life where you just can't be happy and like this is like a a time in your life where this is some major depression, I get it. I understand. I've been there too. But I just hope that one day you can get yourself out of that situation. I, I hate being the people that are just like constantly at the lowest point in their life perpetually for years and decades of their lives it's terrible man but anyway that's the end of the video guys um short one today but i hope you guys appreciate it regardless if you guys like today's video i appreciate everybody can leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously so if you could do that stuff for me i'd appreciate you tremendously if you want to become a member of my channel you can by hitting the subscribe button and then hitting the join button if you don't want to that's fine too i'm just happy that you're here you lovely amazing beautiful specimen of human being if you watch the video in its entirety leave it down below by typing in ruler or whatever this is right um whatever you know what this is you don't you don't want to know what i did with this you don't want to know you don't want to know and there's a reason why it's so long. I'm, you best believe I use every single inch of this. You already know. I'm still unraveling it because I, I tied it up a little bit ago. And I I don't know. I just kind of like putting it together and tightening it. But look how big it is, dude. You don't even want to know what I do with this. But leave it down below, ruler. And I will appreciate your existence more than I do right now, which is pretty impossible if I'm going to keep it a buck. I have no idea how I can appreciate you even more than I do right now. But... If you are here right now, I would gift you this microfiber cloth. I would give this to you and I would say, here you go. Here's this beautiful microfiber cloth that you can use to clean up your screens and your phone screens. And probably that's it. I don't know what else you can do with this. I just been told this is what you use it for. So if you want to use it to clean up yours too, I will be perfectly willing to give this to you. Hopefully you can give it back because I'm loaning it to you, okay? I'm just like my heart is loaned to you, right? Hopefully forever though. Hopefully I can give it to you forever. Anyway, um, if you wanna check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Discord, and my second channel. If you wanna check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 